I'm the present. And you know, so I was thinking the other day, I just thinking to myself, right? Like a lot of the academics and, and, and not no shade to them, of course, I respect their work and they dedicate their lives to it. But I see it like this, right? Imagine you're like an ultimate being and you have a, you have a, like some sort of gigantic microscope or whatever that we can zoom in forever into systems. And I see their perspectives as like um, a resolution that is just not the strongest, right? So um, you could see to certain depths. So like for me, for me, even if you get to the level of neurons, for example, that's a pretty that's a there's, there's a pretty good amount of complexity with, with like uh, biological systems, right? But we've learned that if we zoom in further, we we'll have more higher resolution. We go all the way to subatomic, right? Right, and then we even see that even even at that level, there are interactions. And then we and then we say, okay, let's go even deeper. Then today we're at where what they call the Planck scale, which is the lowest level that we've achieved, we've achieved so far. And there's even more complexity there. And then now and then now we have to now reconcile this new perspective with what we assumed in the past based on the previous resolution that we used. So the reason why I just, why I have a I have a very very strong intuition feeling that we're on the right track and I feel like the rest of the world is going to catch up to us later is because when you actually think about zooming in to the edge if you have the optimally if you have the strongest highest resolution you could possibly have in our universe and you zoom in the fun, the fundamental thing will be an abstraction <laughs> It, 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 it wouldn't be physical it, w- it wouldn't be it, 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 it wouldn't be post-emergent it would be it would be at the moment of emergence right post-emergence creates physical reality so if we're to abstract intelligence we have to zoom into the edge of reality itself and at the edge of reality intelligence is looks like a two-dimensional abstraction so what I imagine is, Imagine the triangle, the infinity, and the circle. Imagine, imagine a sphere, right, Tim? Imagine, a, imagine a see-through sphere, like a ball, right? And imagine that you can you can draw all these shapes on this on this ball, right? You could draw draw the triangle on the ball, draw the infinity on the ball, and draw the circle on the sphere, right? But now, imagine you can draw a lot of them, right, around this ball right until you fill the whole ball up so the entire ball is covered with triangles infinities and circles right when i imagine when i imagine the edge of reality that's what i see it as and then i see the rest of discrete systems as emergent systems that are being controlled by that two-dimensional algorithm that we drew on the ball pair um what we're what we're trying to measure and i tried to like just break it down something as easy as like a triangle something geometric which is kind of an abstraction right the triangles are just like abstractions and a triangle and then the word triangle which is which which actually um it's interestingly actually you know what i asked you humberto actually this is just a random question but which one came first the abstract triangle the drawn triangle on the ground or the word triangle. Let's do that. I think this will cl- this will clean it up for us. So, which one was first? Which was second? Which was third? The idea of a triangle, the draw the drawing of the triangle, or the writing of the word triangle in English. Which one was first, second, and third? Um, is is it that unreachable to me? Because I I feel like it's it's everywhere. It's omnipresent. So, but we just have lost um, the ability to perceive it, this intelligence, this algorithm that governs everything around us. Like, like Tim said earlier with the patterns and sequences in nature and Fibonacci crystal sequences, all these other perspectives. It's like, okay, we see how nature has patterns. I mean, look, look at National Geographic and look at the, the migration of animals in, 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 in the wild. <laughs> those are those are those are algorithmic movements. 
right? At obviously a macro level, but we can even go deeper, 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 and there's still, but now the question is, if we were to define this sequence at the most fundamental level, what was is, what is it gonna look like? Uh, I think that's the question that that, that, that that answers Todd's question of who he is and answers my question of who I am, you know? 